Hey guys, thank you for watching this video and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will do a comparison between the Bayore Watery Essence and the Bayore UV Watery Gel. Both of these products are sunscreen and I have used the Watery Essence for 4 years now. Whereas this one guys, this is my first time to try it out. So if you want to know the difference and similarities of these two products, then please keep on watching. Before I begin this video guys, I just want to tell you guys that we should all wear sunscreen every day. Especially nowadays that UV rays are more harmful than ever. You should actually wear sunscreen guys, kahit na nasa loob lang kayo ng opisina or ng bahay kasi UV rays can get inside the room or can get inside any building even air-conditioned buildings because light enters the room guys and it carries UV rays kaya even when you are indoors you should still wear sunscreen to protect your skin from the harmful UV rays another myth is that you should only wear sunscreen if you live in a tropical country that is not again true I for example live in one of the coldest areas in Japan and I live in a mountainous area. In winter time, we get a lot of snow. But even in winter, guys, I wear sunscreen. Why? Because even in winter, the sun is still there. I am still exposed to UV rays. So have I convinced you already? Was that enough to force you to wear sunscreen daily? I hope I did. Now let's go to the reason why I made this video. Let's start comparing the watery gel versus the watery essence. For the similarities guys, at first you can see the design of their packaging is similar. It has a metallic blue color. Um, parang gradient siya, ganyan. And both have the same UV protection. It's SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Apat na plus. And the price here in Japan, guys, is similar. These are both 798 yen. However, I am not sure if the price for these two products are similar in the Philippines. But you can see naman sa Watsons or online shops kung magkano yung dalawa. I have a feeling na hindi sila parehas, guys. Kasi ito, mas maraming product than this one. Also, both are not sweat proof or waterproof and don't get fooled by the name guys. Although they both say watery gel or watery essence, hindi sila waterproof. I actually thought before buying this one, I thought na waterproof siya or sweatproof. Kaya I thought magagamit ko siya sa beach or something or sa pool. But hindi pala guys, natatanggal siya when you swim in the pool or in the sea. You can use both of these guys under makeup before your foundation, CC cream, BB cream, or powder. Okay, now let's try these two products on the back of my hand. Ito yung watery essence and... Here is the watery gel. As you can see, ayan na. Parang the watery gel is starting to drip. As you can see, it's more runny. The watery essence, although essence yung pangalan niya guys, but the texture is actually more gel type. This one, watery talaga siya. So I think this pea size amount is enough not to cover all your face kasi it's that rich. Both products are really rich. Let's try to spread it out guys. Try spreading them out. Again, this is the watery gel and watery essence. Yung watery essence, parang na-absorb siya nung skin kaagad guys. Ayan. Whereas the watery gel, parang napansin ko, I don't know if you can see sa camera, but my tiny white particles siya. And it's difficult to spread it kasi it's not that fast absorbing compared to the watery essence. And napansin ko guys, my white cast yung watery gel. Whereas yung watery essence, walang white cast. See guys, even if I spread it it out, na talaga, but I can still see the white cast, whereas the watery essence walang white cast. And I feel like the watery essence absorbs quicker than the watery gel. The watery gel is a little bit tacky and sticky and greasy, whereas the watery essence leaves a semi-matte finish. The watery gel, guys, is a bit moist and the watery essence has a semi-matte finish. Okay, let's talk about the differences in general. I think one of the differences is the texture, guys. Nakita nyo naman kanina na runny itong watery gel than the watery essence. Yung watery essence is more of like a gel type. And another difference is the size of the bottle. This is comparatively bigger than this one. Also, the packaging, guys, they're different. This comes in a plastic bottle and a screw cap whereas the watery essence 
is a squeeze tube type with a screw cap. So now let's go to the specific differences. For the watery gel guys, this is more runny than the watery essence. Nakita nyo naman kanina. The texture is a little bit sticky and a little bit tacky on the skin. And also it has a lightweight milky texture. The application was not that smooth and easy compared to the watery essence. But it contains more product kasi it's 90 ml whereas the watery essence is just 50 ml. So you get more product with this one. For me, it's not as quick absorbing as the watery essence and also it left a white cast on my skin. Kaya I don't I don't like it. Now let's talk about the watery essence. The watery essence is more absorbing guys and it is non-greasy and non-sticky at all. It dries to a semi-matte finish. So precaution lang for the, these two products. Both of them contain a lot of alcohol guys. This could irritate your skin especially this one because it has more alcohol content than this one. And I think it is better for sensitive skin because it does not contain cetyl alcohol, steril alcohol or stearyl alcohol and stearic acid or stearic acid. I don't really know how you pronounce it. This is better for sensitive skin kasi wala siya nung tatlong alcohol content. You can give this a shot if you have sensitive skin. Ako may sensitive skin. Ako guys, I've been using this for 4 years now and wala namang irritation sa skin ko. However, this one, hindi ko pa na-try kaya hindi ko masasabi kung okay siya sa sensitive skin. So the question now is, which is better? For me guys, I think after trying both the products out, this Biore UV watery gel is better if you want to wear sunscreen on your entire body. Also, because it leaves a white cast sa skin, hindi siya okay na gamitin sa mukha. But sa body, I think it's okay. Also, if you have dry to combination skin, maybe you can use this. Kasi yung finish niya, it's moist compared to the watery essence. But, kung naghahanap kayo ng sunscreen para sa face nyo, I think this is better kasi it doesn't leave a white cast on your skin and it's super absorbing and madali siyang mag-dry sa skin and it leaves a semi-matte finish. The downside lang nito guys is maliit siya and you get less product than the watery gel. But if you only use it for your face guys, I think it's okay. A pea-sized amount is enough to cover your entire face. That's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Give it a thumbs up up. If you find it helpful and informative, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. The subscribe button is right here. And also, please don't forget to click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.